Hi guys, welcome to my study compass. In this video, I'll be walking you through the past paper, Math P1, variant 2, February March 2022. Let's get started. Write the number 16,037 in figures. Here is the number written in figures. To confirm this number, you can type 16,000 plus 37 into your calculator. Write down the six factors of 28. To get the factors of 28, we first need to list the numbers that multiply to give us 28. From this, we see that the factors of 28 are 1, 2, 4, 7, 14, and 28. Write 9,876 correct to the nearest thousand. The number in the thousands position is 9. The number after 9, which is 8, is greater than 5. So we add 1 to 9, giving us 10. The numbers after 9 become 0. So we have 10,000 rounded to the nearest thousand. The pictogram shows the number of different colored cars a garage sells in a month. Work out how many more white cars than red cars the garage sells. In other words, we are to find the difference between the number of white cars and red cars. From the key, if the set of four small boxes represents 12 cars, then each small box represents 12 divided by 4, which is 3 cars. So to get the number of red cars, we multiply the 7 small boxes by 3, which gives us 21 cars. Then for the number of white cars, we multiply the 16 small boxes by 3, which gives us 48 cars. So 48 minus 21 gives us 27. Write down the reciprocal of 5 over 6. The reciprocal of 5 over 6 is 6 over 5. This is Ed Hess method to work out 99 times 27 without using a calculator. Show how to use Ed Hess method to work out 99 times 68 without using a calculator. When we apply the method to 99 times 68, we replace 99 with 100 and we replace 27 with 68. So we have 100 times 68 minus 68. 100 times 68 is 6,800. 6,800 minus 68 should give us 6,732. Write 5.26 p.m. using the 24-hour clock. 5.26 a.m. on the 12-hour clock is 5.26 on the 24-hour clock. To get 5.26 p.m. on the 24-hour clock, we add 12 hours to 5.26. This gives us 17.26. A journey starts at 21.15 one day and ends at 4.33 the next day. Calculate the time taken in hours and minutes. First, we need to find the time duration from 21.15 to midnight. So we subtract 21.15 from 24 o'clock under the minute column. We can't subtract 15 from 0. So we get 1 hour from the hour column, which becomes 60 minutes under the minute column. 60 minus 15 is 45. Under the hour column, 23 minus 21 is 2. So the time duration from 21.15 to midnight is 2 hours 45 minutes. To get the total time duration, we add 2 hours 45 minutes to 4.33. Under the minute column, 33 plus 45 is 78. 60 minutes is 1 hour, so we add 1 to the hour column and we leave the remaining 18 minutes under the minute column. Under the hour column, 1 plus 4 plus 2 is 7, so we have 7 hours 18 minutes. Change 10,260 seconds into hours. We know 1 hour is 3,600 seconds. So we want to find the number of hours in 10,260 seconds, which is what we are calling X. 
when we cross multiply and make x the subject this is what we get which is equal to 2.85 hours measure the marked angle using a protractor when we measure the angle we get 40 degrees using a ruler and compasses only construct this triangle leaving your construction axe the side of length 12 centimeters has been drawn for you first we measure the width of our compass to be 9.5 centimeters then we stand at this point of the line and construct an arc then measuring the width of the compass to be 8 centimeters we stand at this end and construct another arc now we draw two lines from the base to the intersection point of the arcs to complete the triangle put one pair of brackets into this calculation to make it correct we need to put the brackets around 5 times 2 5 times 2 is 10, so 150 minus 17 minus 10 squared gives us 33. Work out square root of 5 times 6 squared. Give your answer correct to two decimal places. When we type this into the calculator, we get 80.50 rounded to two decimal places. Work out in. We are told draw squares a positive number n, adds it to negative 24 and the result is 25. This simply means n squared plus negative 24 equals 25. Adding negative 24 to n squared is n squared minus 24. When we add 24 to both sides, we get n squared equals 49. When we take square root of both sides, this is what we have. Note that we are only taking the positive square root of 49 since n is positive. Square root of 49 is 7. Indrani and Jagad share some money in the ratio. Indrani is to Jagad equals 7 is to 9. Calculate the percentage of the money that Indrani receives. To get this percentage, we divide the ratio share for Indrani, which is 7, by the total ratio, which is 7 plus 9, and multiply by 100%. This gives us 43.75%. The equation of a line is y equals 5x plus 7. Write down the gradient of this line. The line has been expressed in the form y equals mx plus c. So the coefficient of the x term is the gradient of the line and that is 5. Find the coordinates of the point where this line crosses the y-axis. At the point where the line crosses the y-axis, the x-coordinate is 0. When we plug in x equals 0 into the equation of the line, we get y equals 7. Find the coordinates of the point where this line crosses the x-axis. At the point where the line crosses the x-axis, the y-coordinate is 0. When we plug in y equals 0 into the equation of the line, we have 5x plus 7 equals 0. When we subtract 7 from both sides, this is what we have. And when we divide both sides by 5, we get x equals negative 1.4. On the grid, draw the image of triangle A after a reflection in the y-axis. So first, we draw the line of reflection, which is the y-axis. Then from here, we need to reflect the vertices of triangle A in the y-axis. So for point A on the triangle, since we move 3 units to the left to touch the line of reflection, we also need to move 3 units to the left from the line of reflection to pin the new position of point A. We need to repeat the same process for the rest of the points on the triangle. When we are done, we are able to map out the reflected image of triangle A. On the grid, draw the image of triangle A after a translation by the vector negative 3, negative 4. For this translation, the translation vector dictates that we move each of the vertices of triangle A 3 units to the left and 4 units downwards. 
on the diagram, the movement for point C has been shown. After repeating the same process for all the other points as well, we are able to map out the translated image of triangle A. Write 0.0001 as a power of 10. To write this number as a power of 10, we move the decimal point to a position after the first non-zero digit, which is 1. Since we moved the decimal point 4 units to the right, we multiply 1.0 by 10 raised to the power negative 4. 1 times 10 raised to the power negative 4 is 10 raised to the power negative 4. As the temperature increases, people eat more ice cream. What type of correlation does this statement describe? Since the amount of ice cream people eat increases as the temperature also increases, then this type of correlation is positive. Sanjay invests $700 in an account paying simple interest at a rate of 2.5% per year. Calculate the value of his investment at the end of 6 years. We are dealing with simple interest in this case. So to get the total value of his investment at the end of 6 years, we simply add his principal P to the total interest he earned, which is I. To get I, we use the formula PRT over 100. The principal P is $700. The annual rate R is 2.5% and the time duration T is 6 years. When we type this into the calculator, we get $805. These are the first four terms of a sequence. Write down the next two terms. When we look at the given sequence, we see that the terms have a constant difference of 22. So to get the term after 67, we add 22 to 67, which gives us 89. And to get the term after 89, we add 22 to 89, giving us 111. Find the nth term. Since the terms in the sequence have a common difference between them, we can use this formula to get the nth term for the sequence. A1, which is the first term, is 1, and D, which is the common difference, is 22. When we expand the brackets, 22 times n is 22n. 22 times negative 1 is negative 22. When we group like terms, 1 minus 22 is minus 21, so we have 22n minus 21. Simplify 5f plus 7g minus 8f plus 2g. When we group like terms, 7g plus 2g is 9g. 5f minus 8f is minus 3f. Simplify h squared times h raised to the power 5. Since the terms have the same base and they are multiplying, their powers add. So we have h raised to the power 2 plus 5. 2 plus 5 is 7. So we have h raised to the power 7. Simplify square root of 16x squared times 5y raised to the power 0. 16 is 4 squared, so we can write 16x squared as 4x all squared. y raised to the power 0 is 1. The square root of 4x squared is 4x. 5 times 1 is 5. 4x times 5 gives us 20x. Balavan has n marbles. He gives his sister n over 5 marbles. He gives his cousin n over 2 marbles. Write an expression in terms of n for the number of marbles that Balavan has now. Give the answer in its simplest form. To get the number of marbles he now has, we simply subtract the number of marbles he gave to his sister and his cousin from the initial number of marbles he had, which was n. So we have n minus n over 5 minus n over 2. When we factor out n, we are left with 1 minus 1 over 5 minus 1 over 2. 1 minus 1 over 5 minus 1 over 2 is 3 over 10. So we have 3 over 10 in. Use set notation to describe the shaded region. 
the shaded region is A intersection B. Find the number of elements in set C. From the Venn diagram, the number of elements in this region is 5 in total. Without using a calculator, work out 2 1 over 3 times 11 over 14. You must show all your working and give your answer as a mixed number in its simplest form. First, we need to convert the mixed fraction 2 1 over 3 into an improper fraction. So we have 3 times 2 plus 1 which is 7 divided by 3. 7 goes into itself once and goes into 14 two times. So for the numerator, 1 times 11 is 11. And for the denominator, 3 times 2 is 6. 11 over 6 is an improper fraction. So we need to convert it into a mixed fraction. 6 goes into 11 once with a remainder of 5 which we divide by 6. Expand and simplify. x plus 3 times x minus 5. To expand the brackets, each of the terms in one bracket multiplies all the terms in the other bracket. So x times x is x squared. x times negative 5 is negative 5x. 3 times x is 3x. 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. When we group like terms, minus 5x plus 3x is minus 2x. So we have x squared minus 2x minus 15. Renuka's teacher asks her to factorize completely 8x squared minus 12x. Renuka writes 2x times 4x minus 6 as her answer. Explain why she does not score full marks and give the correct answer. This is because the highest common factor of 8 and 12 is 4. So she factored out 2x instead of 4x. So for the correct answer, when we factor out 4x, we are left with 2x minus 3. Judita thinks of two whole numbers. Both numbers are greater than 6. The lowest common multiple of the two numbers is 90. The highest common factor of the two numbers is 6. Find the two numbers. Using the Venn diagram method of finding the LCM and HCF of two numbers, we are going to work our way backward to get these two numbers. So first, we need to write 90 and 6 as a product of their prime factors. So on the Venn diagram, we know the prime factors of the HCF, which are 2 and 3, will be the elements in the intersection region of the two numbers, which we are calling X and Y. From the prime factors of 90, when we take out 2 and 3, we are left with 3 and 5. For both of the numbers to be greater than 6, we put 3 in the set of one number and put 5 in the set of the other number. The value of x is the product of the elements in region x, which is 2 times 3 times 3, which is equal to 18. And the value of y is the product of the elements in region y, which is 2 times 3 times 5, which is equal to 30. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video useful. See you in the next video. Bye guys.